Hey everyone, it's Judith again back on your screen with a new video. Uh, so in 2023, I am pumped to create more content on YouTube because I have now plenty of time. So I hope Kenyans do not hate me for this video. I'm just sharing my personal experience here. I know that I believe that everybody has a story and experience to share and my experience might be different from another person visiting Kenya. Their experience might be negative or positive. So mine was positive and uh, negative. So I'm here to share, um, you know, to just get my stress level a little bit down. I'm gonna have a sip of my smoothie. It's so nice. It's so nice. I'm gonna start this video on positive note. I'm gonna start with all the positivity, all the positive things about Kenya. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is the people of Kenya. No, I'm gonna start with the visa process because you know what? If you wanna travel to every country, you wanna know if um, you know how to get your visa, do you require a visa? So I'm talking as a Congolese on a Congolese uh, perspective if you are from the DRC you need you require a visa to travel to Kenya uh, but the visa process is really quick and uh, cheap uh, the visa cost you can apply for it online and uh, you don't require a lot of documentation as in other countries South Africa. In South Africa, you require lots, lots, lots of documents to get your tourist visa, but it's not the same in uh, Kenya. Um, and the visa costs fifty dollars, and it takes two days maximum to get your visa. You can get it in a day, so it's really amazing. I like that. It's easy to get. It's cheap, and it's quick i like that number two on the list is safety in kenya i mean you can walk i don't know if anyone had a bad experience as a tourist in nairobi in kenya in general uh personally i could walk up to 10 a.m and nothing happened to me and and i did not have to worry i did really not have to worry about my safety even when in CBD, many people say that in CBD you shouldn't take your phone off, you didn't, you you shouldn't have your phone in your hands. I mean, Kenya is just amazing. <laughs> it's really, really safe. Where else in South Africa? Uh, even during day daylight, you just don't feel safe. You have in Kenya, you feel very very safe and people don't steal i'm just like wow people do not steal you can walk in a crowded place and you don't have to worry actually about your bag i'm not saying you should walk with your bag you know uh open not zipped at all no because i mean we're human beings but you just don't have that feeling in Kenya that, oh, I need to check this. Who is walking beside me? Who is walking? Um, who is behind me? Safety-wise, Kenya is top-notch. Ah, the people of Kenya. I love the people of Kenya. People are so warm. People are so friendly. People are so welcoming. And um, I remember one time um, I was going from one place to another using a matatu and there was a Kenyan old man sitting um, beside me. And uh, when the contactor, how do you call them? The people who collect money on um, in taxis. He asked me for the money, so I asked for the price and he told me it was Hamsini. I didn't know Hamsini was 50, uh, 50 Kenyan shillings. So I asked the guy, the, the old man beside me and I said, what is Hamsini? And he told me it's uh, 50 Kenyan shillings. And uh, yeah, we just started a conversation from there. And another thing to mention, to not forget, is that Kenyans are very much 
helpful or helping when you get lost and you ask they're like you know they're ready to help you when i was in south africa it's like when you ask people it's just like never mind i don't mind i don't mind you should use maps you should you know it's not the same thing in kenya so we started off the conversation and the one thing that really shocked me was that he was very knowledgeable about my culture about my country that is something to like when you are a foreigner in a country and people know about you the history of your country the history of your people you are just like i was wowed and as a history enthusiast i also know a little bit of kenya so it was something to just start off the conversation and connect and just see how similar we are as Africans, how we share a common history and um, also spot the differences and appreciate also the differences that we have in Africa. Um, also, another thing about I, I like about Kenyans is that they are very humble people. You would not part a wealthy kenyan you know in africa we have this thing of you know if to show off it's i mean it's in us to show off uh by wearing um uh designer clothes and we want it to know if it's nike to you know have a nike a big nike written on our t-shirt or if it versace you know big versace written somewhere but it's not the same in kenya you just get that simplicity even if somebody is extra rich you they don't make you feel like yeah i'm rich and this is something i really appreciate about kenyans um another thing about kenya is that they have permanent electricity and permanent water uh where else in south africa uh my first two years in south africa were amazing because we had a permanent um electricity water is still permanent but electricity is no longer permanent there are 10 hours of load shedding i'm just like you know in sa if there is no electricity there's nothing you can do your life is over so i just now that i'm outside of sa um when people tell me there's a 10 hour load shedding i'm just like what the heck how do you survive so i'm just really grateful for permanent electricity in kenya i don't have to worry about charging my phone in the morning before i leave because maybe at 2 p.m there will be low shedding and um in my country as well it's horrible electricity is horrible um i can't even talk about it because it's just horrible and water is permanent um, water is also permanent in South Africa, but in my country it is another story because uh, in uh, everybody just drill their own um, how do you call it well, but in a modern way you have uh, I don't know how they the proper English word for that, but let me just say in French, um, tout le monde fait le fourrage dans leur parcelle. Alors uh, je pense que plus uh, Tout le monde le fait, ça va créer un problème dans le futur. Donc, je, I'm really grateful for permanent electricity, permanent water and electricity in Kenya. Um, another thing is the infrastructure. Oh my goodness! I can say I went in South Africa. I was in Cape Town. So when you are in cape town you feel like you are in europe you are in the u.s because the infrastructure is just top notch it's clean it uh it's a beautiful city where you get you know all the great views mountains oceans and infrastructure is great in south africa but the only thing that bothers me with the development of south africa is that you don't feel that pride of you know it um african country built by africans where else in kenya everything that you see every i'm not saying you know everything is black owned but you just feel that pride by saying that it's africans 
who built this country, who are building this country. You know, that feeling of just, you know, we get a lot of insults from the media, from Europeans that Africa is dirty, Africa is a jungle. But then when you go to an African country that is sort of in developing, you get that pride of saying, yeah, we also have a great country on a continent. Whereas South Africa, even though it's the most uh, developed country on the continent, I honestly feel like, you know, white people built the majority of infrastructures that they have in South Africa. Here they have great universities, uh, roads, mm, yeah, great, uh, in good shape and uh, great hospitals and um, I mean I just like that pride side of you know it, Africans who are building this country and the thing that I like about Kenya is the technology and PESA technology we also have M-PESA in Congo but in South Africa there is no M-PESA uh, I like the fact that M-PESA is a money transfer um, thing uh, you just have to buy your sim card safari come and register and be able to transfer money here and there so one day we went to buy maize uh, I, I don't know how you call it remember English is in my first language we went to buy maize and uh, it was an old woman an old lady you know and I couldn't expect her to know all that technology and she was like, oh yeah, you can pay by M-Pesa. I'm like, wow, that is so surprising. I like that. Everybody's just knowledgeable about new technologies. In South Africa as well, everybody's knowledgeable about new technologies. But in my country, I'm just skeptical. In Kong, I'm skeptical to use new technologies because you just don't know what, what can happen. Now, let's go to the negative things about Kenya. The first thing is the food. The first week in Kenya was horrible because of the food. And uh, I went back to cooking more at home because I just... I mean, food is just different. If you are a tourist, of course, food is always different. Things are always different. The culture is different. But I mean... I feel like Kenyan food lacks taste and even though uh, I resumed to cooking only at home there were just the spices my goodness I miss South Africa the food is no 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 and another thing I don't like about Kenya is the tourist prices tourist prices my goodness here Whatever you open your mouth and uh, ask for a price in English, the price doubles or triples. And uh, yeah, I, I get that. When you go to a museum, uh, they have different prices for citizens, for East African um, community and uh, for non-resident uh, a time place i'm from the drc so we are part of the east african community and uh, sometimes the prices are a little bit down close to uh resident prices but they're just overly high overly high when you, you ask for the price in swahili you ask for the price in Swahili, of course, and uh, they give you the price in their proper Swahili. You don't understand anything. As soon as you open your mouth to ask them to repeat for the price for a second time, the price doubles or it triples or... I'm just going to drop it there. The thing is corruption. Oh my goodness. You know, <clears throat> when... Um, I was traveling to Kenya, people told me that Kenyans are very peaceful people. And even Kenyans that I met in South Africa, they were like, oh, we are peaceful people. We are this, 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 and that. And I was like, oh yeah. I mean, coming from South Africa, you expect the same thing from Kenya, but it is really, really different. I had a bad experience um, 
in Kenya where my sister was renting a place <clears throat> and when she moved out of the place uh, she had a lease contract which said that uh, if the tenant leaves the, the, the apartment the landlord has to give back the money in 15 days after they moved out so we were expecting that money to be given back to us but the landlord was not picking up his phone the day my sister was moving out he did not show up uh, to check the house maybe there's something that is broken and they have to repair nothing at all and uh, up until now that i'm talking i'm recording this video he has not given back that money and we went to the police people told us to go and report to the police we went to report to the police but the police did absolutely nothing and uh another kenyan lady told me that sometimes the police can even put pressure on the landlord and as soon as the landlord pays the money the police take takes hold of that money they use that money so i'm just like wow wow africans i don't know there is a there is no hope there's a thing about kenya that i do not like is the weather especially in Nairobi. <clears throat> I know in Cape Town, it's almost the same where the weather is unpredictable. You can wake up in the morning and um, it's hot and at 12, it's cold. At uh, 6 p.m., it's hot again. You know, the weather is just unpredictable. But here, it's just like you wake up, as soon as you get out of your house, you turn on the when you get out it's cold when you turn on turn on the when you turn the key to close your door it's hot and you just one step uh, ahead it's it's just so unpredictable oh my goodness you, another thing expenses that's the last thing rental is expensive in kenya i did not expect that it's it's expensive in Kenya. Rental is expensive. Well, my country is also expensive, especially the city where I am from. It's extremely expensive, but you just don't expect Kenya to be this expensive. Rental is expensive, but other things such as electricity, it's relatively cheap compared to South Africa. Water is relatively cheap compared to South Africa. Transport, relatively so cheap compared to South Africa. So yeah, this is my experience in Kenya. Uh, this is what I have to say about Kenya. But it is a beautiful country, a beautiful African country. And I am really grateful for the opportunity to travel, to be able to travel to different African countries and to just see how similar we are. I just learn from each uh, from each culture, from each nation. Uh, the fact that I I go to different African countries, I just see how similar we are, and uh, I just embrace the differences. I don't see why we should fight. We have our own particularity. I was at the Kenya national archives and learn about the culture such a beautiful history in kenya such a beautiful beautiful history and uh, we have uh, this common thing of colonization and just leaders our leaders fight fighting for our freedom and how beautiful we all are and uh, how diverse Africa is. When you are in the center, people look very much like me. When you go to the south, Namibia, Botswana, uh, South Africa, people, they have their own facial features and you're kind of, oh, what is, well, who are these people? And um, so beautiful. And when you go to the east as well, the Nilots, and I'm just like so amazed and uh, really appreciative of uh, how diverse God has made us. And uh, I'm just really grateful for that. For those who have never been to Africa, I would invite you to visit our beautiful continent.